were you learning a lot from different sources while doing all of this? Yeah, so um, so on, I'll, I'll start with Yahoo. So on Yahoo side, like I said, there's obviously my team members. But as soon as I got there, I started reading textbooks. I had to pick up, I'd never done backend programming before, so I had to pick up um, SQL. I you know, grabbed a textbook. I was learning PHP for the first time. I grabbed a textbook. Um, I was you know, working with Java for the first time in a long time. I grabbed a textbook. So as you can see, I used a lot of textbooks. Um, I personally like textbooks because they're usually incredibly thorough in comparison to most resources you'll find online. Um, and then, uh, you know, outside of that, uh, or I guess on, on the game side of things, there's less, you know, less textbooks out there. Um, so it was mostly a lot of like, you know, we were using Unity for the game. Um, so, you know, it was a lot of looking on the Unity um, documentation, going through the tutorials. Honestly, Unity has like amazing documentation and like developer community and a developer community. So uh, there's like almost every question you have is going to be out there. So, um, and then of course, um, my team members on um, that game, Counter Strike is the name of the VR game, by the way. Um, so the team members on Counter Strike, particularly the CEO, um, was you know, a great mentor to me, and, you know, we're still good friends now, and, yeah. And, um, before we end, do you recommend people who want to break into the gaming industry to first just get a job as an engineer first, a general engineer, and then try to break in, sort of like moonlighting? So... I would say this. So I think obviously having a full-time job as an engineer was a great way to build my skill. And if there's, you know, if you have the opportunity to do that, then, you know, I think, yeah, it definitely will, you know, it'll definitely be good on your resume, definitely build some skills. Um, my only caution to you, if that's what you're, if you want to do, if you're really passionate about games, beware <laughs> that going into general tech is very it's a very comfortable place to be so if you really want to go into gaming then it's hard to leave tech once you're there i had a huge amount of trouble and a huge amount of emotional you know struggle in in, in terms of trying to leave the company or leave and go into game because you know the pay in the gaming industry is less um the hours are usually worse um the secure job security is worse so if you're trying to get into the gaming industry and you know you're coming from tech you'll feel like this lack of you'll like let's feel this loss of comfortability right so just be aware of it it's not like the worst thing ever like it's not like as a game developer you're like poor and like you know struggling can't you know but at the same time it's you know it's it's definitely a different a different beast